Parshat Ki Tavo describes the very intricate ceremony of the blessings and the curses that took place on Har Grizim and Har Eval, the mountain of Grizim and the mountain of Eval. The Jewish people, after crossing the Jordan, after coming into the land, would go to a certain location, this is close to the town of Shechem, and there are the two mountains adjacent to one another. One is Mount Grizim and one is Mount Eval. Six of the tribes would go up Har Grizim, six of the tribes would go up to Har Eval. Representatives of the Levium would be in the valley below, and they would turn to Har Grizim and they would pronounce certain words as blessings, and those tribes would answer Amen. They would then turn to the other mountain, Mount Eval, and they would pronounce curses, and everybody would have to answer Amen. And the blessings and the curses are speaking about sins that a person would do in private. Cursed is a person who worships idolatry in private, and everybody would have to say Amen. Rabbi Shimshon Raphael Hirsch, the great German thinker of the 19th century, points out something incredible in his commentary. He says, why is it that Hashem chose these two mountains for this particular ceremony of conveying the blessings and the curses? And he says as follows. If you look at these two mountains, you'll see that they're very, very different, even though they're in the same territory. Hagrizim is beautiful. It's fertile. It's green. It's places where flocks can go and graze. On the other hand, Har Eval is rocky. It's desolate. And what's so strange is they both are in the same region. They're both benefiting from the same air. And yet one is verdant and fresh, and the other one is, if you like, cursed and just desolate. And this teaches us an incredible lesson. You can have two human beings who grow up in the same house, in the same environment, giving the same love and nurturing by their parents, but one of them turns out to be a Yaakov, a Jacob, and one of them turns out to be an Asaph, an Esau. How is this possible? Because we have Bechira Chofshit. We have the freedom to make moral decisions. And therefore, we shouldn't just assume that because we are giving the same education to the same children, that they're going to come out the same. You have to look very carefully at the nature of different people. And you have to mold your teaching and the way in which you raise them to that particular child. Because getting the same thing is no guarantee that you're going to turn out the same way. And this is so important for parents and for educators. We send our children to, sh to school and we have a class and the class have all got the same teachers and the same opportunities and yet some of them just don't turn out the way that we want them to. This is the lesson of Har Grizim and Har Eval. We have to look at the person. We have to educate the person. We have to realize it's not necessarily the environment but how we treat them. And that will make a difference be between whether they become blessed or cursed. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.